Do 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 no 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 that's wrong. Dixie Diamonds twenty five. Dixie eight thirty a.m. Half an hour had passed since our quintet had returned to the kitchen table from the porch, and the Borden's grandfather clock chimed eight times. Edward, shaking his head now, sighed deeply as he despondently slunk in his chair. We've gone through an entire pot of coffee, and we still don't have a plan, he said. Balloony, what if you check on your Brency and see if he's closer to our location? I mean, it could be that we're worried about him for nothing. It could, though I doubt highly that I'm mistaken concerning Brency. Would it help enormously if I were to pop into him? I think I'd like that, Lizzie said, smiling at Balloony. Oh, I mean, unless there's some risk of being discovered with repeated, uh, what's the word, spying? Spying on him? Or if it's too taxing on you, Big B, Ed said. Big B, Gerald repeated. I like it. Are you all right with that, Balloony? May we call you Big B? I'm fine with it, thank you. In fact, I rather like it. Not so much the particular moniker, but the fact that someone felt that I'm worthy of a nickname. I'm touched. Worthy, MSCP asked. Big B, you're tops. I thought you knew how much we love and respect you. Thank you for saying so, Cheeky. I, well, even though Brency only had me caged for a bit over two and a half months, I'm afraid my time with him has left me scarred. You and Gerald have done quite a bit to give me a feeling of belonging, but early experiences can scar one for a lifetime, it said sadly. In any case, it continued in a far more upbeat tone. Yes, yes, I can see, smell, hear, taste, and touch what Brency's body's experiencing without alerting him to my presence. I'll pop into him, see where he is, and then we can compare that to where he was. If he's still heading this way, I'd consider that very strong evidence that he's coming for me. And if he is, then the most sensible thing would be for me to fly. What? Gerald said. No, no, you're a wonderful asset. Besides, if you leave us, he might win. And and what if he is after the diamonds? Oh, my. You are a dear, aren't you? Remember, though, I know when you're being a bit, hmm, elusive. If he's after me, then I'm the threat. And if I'm the threat, the best thing for everyone would be for me to flitter. Not everyone, Lizzie said softly. You count two. Let's cross that bridge if and when, shall we? Capital idea, Balloony replied. Now, how about I pop in and we find out where he's headed, shall we? It would be best if you all sit quietly while I spy. I've never looked through someone else's body while people were chatting, and I don't know if hearing you speak would alter the equation. That's the same reason I won't be speaking while I'm inside Brency. I don't know if he'd hear me or feel me if I speak to you while inside him. So mum's a wood until I disengage. Got it? Got it, MSCP exclaimed, the sentiment repeated by the others either in words or through body language.